Give me sass. You're gonna start a video like that? Don't give me sass. <laughs> You're giving me sass and being a total pain in the butt. I'm not being a pain in the butt. I just get home from my walk, did a healthy five miles. Good, good. Proud good, good. You. Proud of me. And Abby's car is at the tire place. And it needs new struts. That's what the tire guy said. It needs a new tire and new struts. And Jason says, send me a picture. And I'll he let you know. He would send a picture. Right, right. So I told him to send okay. a picture and an estimate. Right, and an estimate. I'm like, well, what are you going to do with the picture, Mr. Mechanic? Are you going to tell him, yeah, yeah, I totally seen, need to replace I've my seen struts. I've struts. I know what struts are supposed to look like and whether they're leaking through their seals or something. Okay, I can look at it. It's a man thing. I didn't want to have to <laughs> mansplain to you. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I just wanted Is to Abby let you home? be. Yeah, she's home. Okay. She's not feeling good. I just didn't um, want to mansplain it to you, so. Whatever. Yeah. I didn't mean for you to follow me up here. <laughs> well, I've just got to keep the record straight. Okay. I'm going to get cleaned up here and then we're going to start our day. I'm getting dressed and I kind of, I'm cold um, just because I'm kind of still sweaty, but we're going to work outside today. So I didn't want to like completely shower and get cleaned up because um, my hair is still kind of, I mean, it looks like it's sweaty if I un undid the ponytail, but anyway. Um, I, I don't know if I, I'm going to be able to show you. I just wanted to see if I could wear a pair of jeans today. Because I'm finding, kind of feeling like, oh, I could wear a cute outfit to go to Costco. Let me see if I can get you to see what my predicament is. I, I really have not had this predicament for, I don't know, ever. Okay? And I have to be very careful here. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Let me get my glasses on. Hang on. Okay, my glasses are on. I can't really see the camera. Okay, can you see this? My pants are here. You, look, there's a little window. See that little window right there? And um, I am going to make it so that you can't see my lower half. But just listen to what happens if I let go of said jeans. Well, that didn't make as much noise as I thought it would, but they're on the ground. They don't stay up. I don't think I can wear these to Costco. They literally, okay, let's try another one. I didn't know this is what this video was gonna be about or have this in it, but we're here. Okay, you show showing... everybody your pants falling down? No, I didn't show them that. <laughs> but I, well, have I don't the same think they problem. can see. They can't see. They can. No, you're beyond. No. Can they see that in the camera? Yeah, I think you can now. See the window. I'm showing them the window. Is that what what is called? it? What is that? To the. I always get these things. Window. Know. There's a song. I'm not to on the... TikTok, so I have no idea what you're talking about. It's a regular song. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna show you guys. Well, without showing you, Jason's gonna prove. Where are they at? Your pants fell down. My pants fell down. That's a big YouTube moment. It is. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's just funny to tell people your pants fell down. Well, yes, you've lost a lot I of can't... weight. High five, love. You're killing it. Proud of you. But I don't have any clothes. And I don't I don't want to buy just the next size. That's why we're yo yoga pants. So you can stretch <laughs> them in and out. You're I'm going to have to wear my jogger pants. I can't even believe they sell blue jeans anymore. Kids don't wear blue oh, jeans. Oh, I want to wear blue jeans. All right, I have another pair of pants. They're actually a whole size bigger than the two I just tried on. Um, I'll just, these are a size 20. And the other two were size 18s. And I have, these ones are stretch jeans to begin with. Um, but they are, they used to be like super bag, super tight. And they still are at my calf. Can you guys, I, don't, I hate that I have to be so far away. Let me, let me put you down low so you can see where my legs are at. These used to be like leggings, okay? I'm gonna put you down here. Maybe this is weird, but look at this. They're pulled up, let me just pull them up. These are all where they need to be. These, these used to be tight, like right here. See how they're tight here on my calf, right? Like they're where they should be. They're kind of like tight, you know, they're supposed to be like that, but right here, like all this extra material. Like, let me turn sideways. 
Can you see all this? Like I could literally fold the excess fabric. Oh, my goodness sakes. Jeggings it is, I guess. This is the, do I have another pair? I don't have another pair of jeans. I only have these three because I just didn't feel comfortable in them to begin with when I was overweight. And so I just didn't put money into like buying them. I only got these ones. So I did have cute jeans to wear. Um, also like my t-shirts, I'm not gonna try them all, all today, but like they're all like, I don't know how, I mean, they're all too big. They all have like, almost like stretched out material where my gut used to be and so now they just like they just hang <sighs> it's a good thing i just i'm running out of wardrobe at this point so if you see me in the same things this is why because even like my sweatshirts um they're they're massive on me because i bought them all when i had large a larger chest um and now i've lost uh, I can I can tell you, as of today, I have lost 63 pounds. So, clearly there's a, a size difference in my clothes. Fast forward to Costco. We're getting these um, Chobani Complete Protein Drinks for Jason to clear his gut up from his antibiotic. Uh, chapstick, bread. We didn't need very much today. Uh, finally have the garlic pasta for Abby and then I eat the veggies and the chicken at the end <laughs> uh, Lasagna Kaylee is coming into town. So we're probably gonna have that on Saturday or Sunday um, Ashley requested hot cocoa. Actually everyone did it's getting cold uh, cottage cheese Alani and then we got bananas Raspberries cucumbers. I got myself a little pick-me-up bra and then because are on They're like seven bucks. So we stocked up because we go through that a lot during the winter. All right, I don't really want to be doing this right now, <laughs> but we only have this for a little bit and so this for a little bit. This over there and then just doing this and then moving things back and then doing that. Yeah, I mean, the, the goal is the rug and then we can like power wash off the patio. Well, um, the patio is not bad actually. No, it just needs to be rinsed off after this. Um, Hopefully we don't have to soap it. We will, because it'll be no, easier I to get. It'll be fine. I don't. You haven't seen how nasty it is over the here. Pressure washer will just. Bzz, bzz, you know, that's why it's called. It's a man's tool, hun. I don't want to have to explain it to you. Wow. <laughs> so we don't know what this is. It's coming off like the bolts. It's like this little rusty sludge. It's really gross, but you can see the difference of. Um, color between the gross and the not gross. and show you your manly work should I go show him your manly work yes go show him I know I'm trying to be careful yeah, no, you, I, it looks amazing I know I left him to it because it's manly work it's manly work thanks for letting me have my uh, sacred manly loneliness yes I, I <laughs> you're welcome all right no, oh dot you're <laughs> such a little moaner I know. Chelsea, she'll come back out. She just moans when we come out here. All right, so we've got the rug here. It looks so much better. He's got it drying out. Needs to uh, get pulled out. Oh, I see. He has it kind of propped up here. Um, it's not perfect. It's been used, but it looks 
way better than it did, especially like this edge right here. He's got it kind of propped up on one of the chairs. I think if I had come down, we could have gotten it up and over too, but it's supposed to be sunny and nice um, for the next couple days. Um, we also are kind of wondering if we scoot this, it'll take a bit of a shove. Um, plus we need to leave access to get in. If we can get this umbrella to go over the netting, over the fence, if we can open it up and kind of give Chelsea a spot and the, and the bird um, with, you know, kind of rain cover. Because they don't make, we've, we've gone and looked multiple times at the little canvas pop-up tent thingies to put over here. And they don't make them in eight foot. We don't have a full 10 feet um, because of this little thing that comes out from the house. Um, so we can't get a full 10 foot um, tent in there, which is unfortunate. So uh, we haven't been able to put anything out here, but with the rainy season upon us, it's already literally upon us. I wanna give a dry spot a little bit. A little bit. Um, so anyway, we'll let everything kind of dry out first and then it, he should have maybe power washed that a little bit. It's kind of got a little bit of algae on it. All right, we are going to pick up Abby's car, my old car. It is done and um, costs us a pretty penny to get fixed, correct? Well, there's a flat tire, but then they're like, the struts are bad. Yeah. And what, it has so 80,000 miles, 70,000 miles? I don't know how many it has. So it's probably about time to get it. So I'm like, whatever. Whatever. Our friend could have done it. Could he do it? Could he, he do could struts? totally do it, but I he's, just don't like he's, taking his time. He's not excited about doing cars. No. I mean, if we were in a pinch, he would do it for us. But he knows how to do struts. Yeah, he knows how to do all sorts of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> struts would be nothing. Talking about one of our best friends. Yeah. He's a, a diesel mechanic. So he could have done it. He used to do a lot of this kind of stuff for us, but he's just sick of it. He's burned out. Yeah. So, um, we're going to go get the car and go home and watch the Seahawks. They're playing tonight. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Who are they playing? <coughs> I don't remember. Oh, gosh. Um, Is this guy going to get a turn or not? Uh, so, anyway, we're going to end our night. I think we've, we're officially productive today. I yes? was. Um, wow. <laughs> Are you for real? Did you walk five miles at the park? What are your steps for the day? I bet I got a what lot are of your steps. okay going back and forth pressure washing hey, the entire pause, patio? Pause. How many steps do you have, mister? 73, 78. 73, 78. Oh, I think that my eleven thousand five hundred and twenty-five beats you. I, I'm pretty sure that that's a higher number. I didn't realize it was giving you crap. Say that again? I was just giving you crap because I did get a lot done today I go through my life and so did my wife so did you Dana was very productive too all right <laughs> both of us need to be done or all of us need to be done with him so we will say good night to you guys and um, stay tuned I've got a few fun things um, up my sleeve for this week if I can find the time to um, and we are pending Abby's surgery. We're actually waiting for the surgical appointment time. That, if you know that that always happens like last minute. Why they just park at the middle like that? So, anyway, we are done. Where is the car? Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, struts are done. Strut her up. I could. I'm too tired. That was a good one. <laughs> okay, you take stop. care. Stop. It's right there. It's right here. I know, but I got to go inside and get I the understand, key and, and I'm just getting out of the way. <laughs> well, you're not really out of the way, but it's all right. <laughs>